Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to talk about, as a psychic, sometimes we get our information wrong, but sometimes we get our information right. I want to talk today about some information that I got that is so right that I have to share this. About a week ago, so it's Wednesday last week, I private messaged a woman on Facebook and my comment to her was, someone very famous is about to be in the news for all the wrong reasons. At that time a week ago, I knew someone big in the news was going to be in the news for the wrong reasons. Today, we know that is Tucker Carlson, right? Tucker Carlson. Now, I followed him. I have listened to him before. And I always have known that he is under those constraints of what he has to do as part of working for somebody else. Now that he's a free agent where he can suit up and say his truths, he's about to be the worst thing possible for the media. Let me explain. He has just done a beautiful speech for the Heritage Foundation. I'm going to put the link below. It goes for half an hour. Get through the first five minutes where he's thanking people, but then listen to what he says. He's talking about certain things that 70% of the population has done. Now we've got to remember, he was sacked last week because of something he said regarding a certain medical procedure, right? It's all coming out now. He's in the media for the wrong reasons. They can't have him out there saying the truth. So he's now just done this speech with the Heritage Foundation where he's saying it's like herd mentality where if we know something is wrong, but we see everybody else do it, we do it ourselves to fit into society. We all know what he's talking about, okay? We all know what he's saying. So he says that those who don't comply, they stand up in their truth. Now, something else he just said, which I firmly believe in, when we lie, we're lowering our vibration and we start to live in fear because we're getting caught out in the lies that we've created. It doesn't matter if it's an individual, doesn't matter if it's a small town country bakery house, doesn't matter if it's a huge conglomerate or it doesn't matter if it's a government body overseeing the whole planet. It doesn't matter. But as soon as there is a lie, that you must lie to hide the lie. And it becomes fear. And what happens is when we live in fear, we get angry. We get scared. We start retaliating. Have you noticed how much of this is going on around the planet now? It's everywhere. Or should I say about 70% of the population has now got it. They want to feel that they made the right decision, even knowing now there's all this evidence coming out to say it wasn't the right decision to make. So now a lot of people, because not everybody, cognitive dissonance is setting in for a lot of them. But what is happening is that there's a lot of people now who cannot face the truth. A, they were lied to. And two, that they may or should have made other options or different decisions at the time. You know, I know a nurse, it's true. She took a year off work because she didn't want to listen to her boss and she got asked back to work and they paid her $175,000 in her bank and she's had the last year off work and she's still got her health. So Tucker Carlson, let's get back to him. He is about to go rogue. You know what happens when someone goes rogue? The fear that people have because of the, the chaos of the lies that they've created, it means that their societal 
dictatorship starts to crumble. This is the best thing, in my opinion, that could have happened to this week. Because now we have one of the biggest news agencies on the planet. They're about to go free for all. So they are now going to be picking up the pieces. And also someone like Tucker Carlson out there who's now suiting up into his superpowers of being the truth. Listen to his video below. Go past the first five minutes, guys. It's just him thanking people, okay? But then when he starts talking about superheroes and starting to live in your truth, he is worthy, in my opinion, so I'm going to recommend him, that wherever he goes, like Don Bongino, if he goes rogue, um, independent, or creates his own channel after this, which I don't think he's going to do, he's going to get swooped up by someone else, because they need to keep him contained. Someone with 24 million viewers every night needs to be contained. So they're going to try every tactic to bring him down back to where they want him to be. Let's see how this plays out, guys, because what are your thoughts? Comment below. But I will tell you that the world as we know it is about to change big time. And I knew it a week ago that someone big was about to be in the news for all the wrong reasons. I love it when I get it right, guys. I really do. You know, I can't make this stuff up because I've got the private message that I sent out to someone a week ago. Oh, who was that? I sent it to a reporter. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not egotistical. I just love it when I get things right. So what are your guts telling you guys? Because big changes are about to happen. Because those who have been creating the lies, they can't keep the lies going anymore. So the more we raise up our vibration, and the more we say, I don't care what you've done. It's nothing on me. You can do whatever you like under your own free will. I forgive you because you ultimately are the only one who has to do your life review. Why do you think they're trying to create more immortality through the accelerated aging processes? Why do you think that the telomeres, <laughs> wait for it, telomeres are going to be all over the news in six months. There's another prophecy for you. What are telomeres? Look it up. In fact, I'll put a link below. Have a look at the links below. Tucker Carlson's interview with the um, Heritage Foundation that he's just done. And also, I'll put in some links about telomeres. Start to wake up what they're doing. Once you work out how to do something, you can learn how to reverse it. So all these people having accelerated aging, they reverse it. And can you imagine someone like Gil Bates living to 700 years old? Yep. I don't like being a psychic some days. But you know what? Words got to get out of what they're starting to create. And we only allow it to happen if we comply. <sighs> Stay tuned, guys. Good things are coming. Stay positive. Love everybody. And most of all, stick to your tribes. Love is talk soon. Bye.